let's jump straight into it. So I'm going to be showing you how I deep clean my brushes. What I'm going to do first is take some Artiste Makeup Brush Cleaning Spray and spray that on my face brush. This is an alcohol based spray so this will help remove any um, extra foundation that's in the brush before I start deep cleaning. It just means that I have to scrub less when I'm cleaning. I'm going to make sure I'm running cold, cool water so nothing too hot and I'm going to wet the brush and now I'm going to take the Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Facial Cleanser. I find this is good for the brushes because it's quite gentle. Um, it also makes them feel really clean and gets rid of bacteria too and it's only like $8 at Chemist Warehouse so it's quite cheap as um, opposed to normal brush cleaners uh, and I find it works really well. Sometimes you may have to clean your brush a few times. This is my foundation brush, so it's got a lot in there. And what the brush looks like there that I was pointing at, that means that there's still foundation and soap in your bristles. So if you, after you dry it off your brush, if you still, if it still looks like the bristles are stuck together like that, then you need to rinse it again. That's all that means. Um, and I usually find I only have to do this really with my foundation brush because it is the brush I use to work the foundation into my face. So I don't do this with every single brush. But this one tends to need more deep cleaning than the rest of them. And I'm just making sure that I'm really getting into the bristles with my fingers and really giving it a good scrub. And you can see here how much foundation is still washing down the sink. And that's this is almost the third clean. So you can see it can take a couple of cleans, but that's why we call it a deep clean. Alright, so now that I've dried off my brush on a little bit of paper towel, there we go, it's all clean. I'm going to sit it to rest. Now I'm taking my powder brush and I'm going to repeat the process all over again with this brush just making sure that I'm really getting into the bristles and really giving a good scrub when I'm cleaning just to make sure that there's no extra foundation or powder or even soap left so I even scrub it once I'm rinsing the brush um, and it might look like I'm being quite rough but I'm not, I'm being, I'm being gentle so make sure you're just gentle with your brushes. And always try to rinse them with their brush head facing down. See, there's still soap in there. So yeah, try to rinse them with the brush head facing down. That way water doesn't fall backwards into the ferrule um, and can weaken the glue. Again, this is my blush brush, so I'm just repeating this process. And that's pretty much all that's to it when it comes to cleaning brushes. Um, you know, the deep clean, just make sure you get your correct products and things like that. Make sure that you get all the different foundation out as well, um, any products. Now with deep cleaning, I only really do this maybe every two to three weeks just because my brushes don't need it that often. If I use them less, then I do a deep clean less often. I usually just use my RT spray, which you can see in the right corner there, um, just to give them a quick clean off before I use them each time. Um, being an alcohol spray as well, it just helps kill off any bacteria that can be sitting in the brush. So I find that's really good. And I got my RT spray from Priceline and I think it was maybe $11 and it's lasting me forever. So now that I've done all my brushes, we're going to move on to the sponges. And the sponges is pretty much the same thing. So I'm taking my Artist Alcohol Spray, spraying it and rubbing it off with a tissue to get any excess. And I'm going to wet the sponge and just scrub some of that face wash in there. And this, I find, gets my sponges super, super, super clean. Um, and then after I've finished with them, I just put them outside in the sun just to dry off a little bit. Um, Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye!